Aisha, do you know what happened today? I don't know what happened, but can I just say hi on here? <gasps> hi! Hello. Hi, guys! <laughs> I'm Aisha. I am Clarissa. Welcome to today's lesson. We are super excited mm -hmm. because it is jam-packed. We are going to teach you about characters of the Bible. Hey. Ooh, it's going to be good. So, kids, just sit like this and let's pray together. God, thank you so much for this wonderful day. We choose to be happy in it. We choose you, God. We want to serve you. Thank you for each and every child that is tuned in. Thank you that you will comfort them in troubled times. Thank you that you will bless them. And thank you, my God, that you just walk with us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Kids, we are going over to praise and worship. So get up, get your body moving, because this is going to be one for the books. Hey. Oh, why is it broken? It fell from the 
you know, the cabinet, and now it's broken, and it's my favourite one. Oh, Aisha, I'm so sorry. Now you need to throw it away, right, no, kids? No, 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 no. No, but you I cannot can use it like that. See? I can, a little bit of glue will fix it. It will fix it, and then, and then it's as good as new, and I can just still use it. Well, seeing it. is believing. I'm going to show you, and just like I'm going to show you how I can use this, no? Yes. I'm going to show you guys... And tell you guys how something or someone that is broken can be used for amazing things. Amen. Guys, like I said earlier, my jewelry box means a lot to me. But it's because of where I got it from. So it means a lot to me. So even though it is broken, I'm going to just take some glue and I'm going to put it together. And I'll still be able to use it. It will still have meaning. It will still serve its purpose. I'll still be able to put things inside, um, like jewelry or whatever I decide to put inside. So even though it is broken, I'm still going to end up using it because I'm going to fix it. And just like that, just like me wanting to fix this jewelry box, because it means so much to me, that is how God uses people sometimes that are the worst of the worst or people that are the most broken and he gives them significance he gives them a reason to carry on he he calls them to do something and to serve a purpose for him and then what what does he do he mends them just like the jewelry box he mends them not with glue <laughs> with the word by teaching them the word of God and by speaking to them and inspiring them, giving them a purpose in life and, and a task. And, and, and you know how much, how amazing it is for people that were completely broken to finally have a purpose, to finally be able to do something. And for God of all people like you, that's, that's like huge. Like imagine, let me make an example. Miriam. Miriam in the Bible used to gossip a lot about people. Everybody around she used to gossip about. But God still used her for a purpose. Same with um, Jonah. Yeah, Jonah. Jonah ran away from God. He ran away from God because he was afraid that the job God gave him was too big. He thought that he would disappoint God and he wouldn't be able to do the task. So he ran away. And Moses, Moses, the worst. Moses was a murderer. And if God could use someone like a murderer and give them the pur purpose to save as many people as he saved. Guys, God can take you from anywhere in your life. No matter what shortcomings you may have, no matter what you've done in your past, no matter where you are at your that point in time, when God calls you and you listen, it can be just like that. Your whole life can be turned around. And God can take you and use you for His will. And you will have so much purpose in your life. So, God does not call people that are qualified for the job. Amazing. God does not call people that are qualified for the job. He qualifies the people that are called. So he molds them so that whatever job he gave them, they can do as long as they have him by their side. They can do anything. And like that, you can do absolutely anything as long as you have God by your side. Wow, kids. That was an amazing word. Just to know that God can use anybody i like to think of it with this skew ruler god can draw a straight line he can use anybody if god can use anybody he can use me so there's an awesome scripture in psalms 145 verse 14 so this is a big number you guys i need all your help Stand up and it says Psalms. Psalms is singing. So it says Psalms 
145. Okay, let's do that together. Psalms, Psalms 145, verse 14. There you go. All right. And it says, those who are bent over with burdens, God will lift up. So let me show you and explain the moves. Okay, it says those who are bent over. So I want you to bend over. And then where does our burdens go in life? It lies on our back. The heaviness of our burdens is on our back. So I want you to bend over and throw your bag of burdens over your shoulder. Okay, let's do this. It says those who are bent over with burdens... God will lift them up. Okay, let's do this one more time. It says, Psalms 145 verse 14. And it says, those who are bent over with burdens, God will lift you up. So Aisha, mm -hmm. I am so excited to see this brand new and improved jewelry box of you. I cannot wait to see when you put it back together. I can't wait for it to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kids, always remember, mm. no matter what you have done, no matter how broken you are, yeah. God can still use you. Okay? Let's sit like this, and then I'm going to ask Aisha to pray for us. Let's close our eyes. Heavenly Father, on this glorious day, Lord, yes. we would like to thank you for being able to mend any broken heart. Thank you, God. And use all our imperfections yes. for your perfection. Yes. Use everything that we think is not valid enough for your will. Amen. And actually do good and be blessed and be bold and be brave with you by our side. Amen. And we thank you for this, Lord. And we are so grateful that we have a father like you. Yes. And that we can be as blessed as we are to have you. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 Who are we? Children of God! And what are we? Bless! Yeah. Bye! Bye.